Unit 5, Lesson 8, Calculating Products of Decimals. Number 1. Here are an unfinished calculation of 54 hundredths and 3 and 8 tenths and a 54 hundredths by 3 and 8 tenths rectangle. A. Which part of the rectangle has an area of 432 thousandths? Which part of the rectangle has an area of 1 and 62 hundredths? Show your reasoning. 3 times 54 hundredths equals 1 and 62 hundredths, so that would be the 3 by 54 hundredths section of the rectangle, and 8 tenths times 54 hundredths equals 432 thousandths, so that would be represented by the 54 hundredths by 8 tenths section of the rectangle. B. What is 54 hundredths times 3 and 8 tenths? That would be the same thing as adding up those two areas. 1 and 62 hundredths plus 432 thousandths equals 2 and 52 thousandths. Number 2. Explain how the product of 3 and 65 could be used to find 3 hundredths times 65 hundredths. The digits are the same, but the placement of the decimal point makes their values different. 3 times 65 is 10,000 times greater than 3 hundredths times 65 hundredths because 3 is 100 times larger than 3 hundredths and 65 is 100 times larger than 65 hundredths and 100 times 100 is 10,000. Number 3. Use vertical calculation to find each product. A. 5 and 4 tenths times 2 and 4 tenths. 5 and 4 tenths times 2 and 4 tenths equals 12 and 96 hundredths. This product is 100 times smaller than 54 times 24 because 5 and 4 tenths is 10 times smaller than 54 and 2 and 4 tenths is 10 times smaller than 24. And again, 10 times 10 equals 100, so this is 100 times smaller than 54 times 24. So I move the decimal point to the left two places to make it 100 times smaller. Instead of 1,296, it becomes 12 and 96 hundredths. B. 1 and 67 hundredths times 3 and 5 tenths. 1 and 67 hundredths times 3 and 5 tenths equals 5 and 845 thousandths. This product is a thousand times smaller than 167 times 35 because 1 and 67 hundredths is a hundred times smaller than 167 and 3 and 5 tenths is 10 times smaller than 35 and 100 times 10 is a thousand. So this product is a thousand times smaller than 167 times 35. So I move the decimal point three places to the left to make it a thousand times smaller. Number four. A pound of blueberries costs $3.98 and a pound of clementines costs $2.49. What is the combined cost of six tenths of a pound of blueberries and one and eight tenths pounds of clementines. Round your answer to the nearest cent. Three dollars and ninety-eight cents times six tenths of a pound equals two and three hundred eighty-eight thousandths. Rounded to the nearest cent is two dollars and thirty-nine cents. And two dollars and forty-nine cents times one and eight tenths of a pound equals four and four hundred eighty-two thousandths. Rounded to the nearest cent is four dollars and forty-eight cents. Number five, complete the calculations so that each shows the correct sum or difference. A, two and 140 thousandths plus one and 725 thousandths equals three and 865 thousandths. B, 29 and 99 hundredths plus one and 42 hundredths equals 31 and 41 hundredths. C, 6 and 150 thousandths minus 1 and 9 thousandths equals 5 and 148 thousandths. Number 6. Which has a greater value, 7 and 4 tenths minus 22 ten thousandths 
or 7 and 39 hundredths minus 12 ten thousandths. Show your reasoning. 7 and 4 tenths minus 22 ten thousandths equals 7 and 3,978 ten thousandths and 7 and 39 hundredths minus 12 ten thousandths equals 7 and 3,888 ten thousandths. 7 and 4 tenths minus 22 ten thousandths is greater. Number 7. Andre is planting saplings, baby trees. It takes him 30 minutes to plant three saplings. If each sapling takes the same amount of time to plant, how long will it take Andre to plant 14 saplings? If you get stuck, consider using the table. Well, we know that it takes 30 minutes to plant three saplings. Three divided by three equals one, and 30 minutes divided by three equals 10 minutes. So he can plant one sapling in 10 minutes. If he were to plant 10 saplings, that would take 100 minutes. We need to figure out how many minutes it would take for him to plant 14 saplings. That would be the same as 10 saplings plus 3 saplings plus 1 sapling. And that of course would be 100 minutes plus 30 minutes plus 10 minutes. It would take him 140 minutes to plant 14 saplings. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 5, Lesson 8, Calculating Products of Decimals. Here's your opportunity to show your appreciation. Hit that subscribe button in the middle and visit Patreon on the left. What are you waiting for? Hurry, hit it!